the frogs and the ox. Mom, mom, come quickly! Called the little frog, hopping and skipping with excitement. Come and see the monster! He called. It's got two big spikes sticking out of its head, and a funny brush thing at the other end. And it goes, and it kicks frogs. Not now, dear," said the little frog's mother. "Come on, mum, please." Mother frog looked more closely at the little one. "You're Stanley, aren't you?" "No, mum, I'm Zebedee." "Are you really? You all look so alike." She had two hundred and forty-seven children. And it is hard to remember that many names, so she called everyone Stanley to give her memory a rest. Mum, mum! cried Zebedee. I haven't finished breakfast, dear. The little frog hesitated. Can I have some then? No, Stanley, she said. You are not a tadpole anymore. Go and find your own slugs and stop jiggling about. You're giving me a headache. I'm not jiggling about. I'm hopping about. <laughs> ribbit, 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 ribbit. Well, stop it. It looks like exercise, and I can't be having with that sort of thing. How would it be if I were to flip and flop about like you doing exercise? The little frog thought about it. You wouldn't be so podgy," he said. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. I got in the air. Exactly," said his mother. "You don't get a jelly belly like mine by exercising. I get all the exercise I need chewing. Now, what's all the fuss about? And it's an ox, and it's really gross, and his shoes have split down the middle." There are no such things as monsters, Stanley, and no creature in the pond is bigger than your mum. But it is bigger than you, mum. Lots bigger, I promise. Right, said his mum. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Right, we'll see about that. I'll go with you, and if you are telling fibs, you'll have no worms for a week. The damp hollow she sat in was home to a good assortment of slugs, but she had eaten too many of them. The big jelly belly she was so proud of made it difficult to get about. Now she could only half hop and flop and then stop, hop, flop, and stop, until she was all tired out and could go no further. Stop, Stanley. Mum, you've only moved half a meter. Far enough, she wheezed. And then she took a deep breath. Is the ox as big as this? She asked. She sounded odd, because it's hard to speak, blown up like a beach ball. Much bigger than that, said the little frog. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. I'm in the air. So she sucked in more air. And sucked in more air, and sucked in more air. No, Mum, it's still bigger. So she took in another breath, and, 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 she shot into the air like an escaped balloon that zips around the room, making rude noises because you let go of the end. Yeah! She yelled. Looping the loop and fizzing off in all directions before crashing with a spectacular splash right in front of the ox. The ox looked bored with the whole thing. Water dribbled from his mouth. Stanley! She called back to the little frog from a field and a half away. Let that be a lesson to you. But the lesson was hers, really. The end. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, The Olive Tree. Bye bye.